At the end of yesterday's episode, we were talking about putting these little rings down on the deck. And afterwards, I started looking at this, and there's a bit of an un something unusual here. I think that possibly there's a mistake in the manual. Uh, I'll, I'll swing the camera around here. I guess I have to move my coffee cup out of the way. And, uh, and I'll show you what, what it is that I've discovered here. Okay, F-38s are little rings. Notice there's four of them. One, two, three, four. Now, on the other side, F-38, there's, a, there's also four. One, two, three, four. However, I have found a fifth one. Now, let's, let's just follow this along here. This one right here is this one over here. This one is this one. This one is this one. And this one down here is this one over here. Okay, now if we move over onto the other side, it's going to be a little bit hard to see. Some of them are mirror image to each other, but a lot of them aren't on the other side. They're sort of grouped together. One, two, three, four, and we have them here. One, two, three, and four. So I was looking at this deck here, and I see a ninth, a ninth one over here. It's a little bit hard to see, but there is. There's another one over here, and it is, it is perfect mirror image to this one over here. And yet, it doesn't show it on on the uh, on the manual. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not I'm not going to put a ring there just in case. Further on in the manual, it it wants us to put something different there. Uh, at first, I thought, well, I've got I've got nine. Why not plug nine in? But I'm I'm realizing now that yeah, like I say, it could be something else is supposed to go there. So uh, I'm not going to throw it out. We'll just hang on to it. Okay, I've got a pair of needle nose tweezers here, and uh, you can see the way they come together. Um, they will not allow the part to go pinging out, and yet on the other hand, uh, they might not want to release either. So what I'm thinking of is, let's take one that we drilled out. Okay, now, um, how does that look? Okay, this just might work. But what do we use for an adhesive? Do I use uh, CA glue or do I use the extra thin? Obviously I'm going to have to take it back out. Okay, we, we know that that works now. I'll just set it here for the time being. You know what? Maybe I should. Maybe I better put it back. I don't want to accidentally lose it. They are so tiny. Okay. One of the viewers had uh, mentioned that you can take this this tube and you stretch it, and when you stretch it, it uh, the hole gets gets smaller as you stretch it out. And I just tried it right now, and it did. And I've, I've nipped it off. However. I just know that what's going to happen is I'm going to be putting too much on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this. This is this is my uh, CA medium, and we'll, we'll just put it in here. Just a couple of drops. Now, maybe what we'll do is use my homemade applicator. Where is it? Remember we made this for the uh, when we were working on the Bismarck. It worked pretty good. I'm wondering maybe this might even be just a little bit too heavy duty. Now, being as that this is the medium, we do have a little bit of extra time here. You know what? I should put the macro lens on. What's the matter with me? Okay, I'm using a different applicator here, similar to the one you just saw, but it's a little bit smaller. Try and try and get some down in that hole there without it wicking around all over. Okay, now that should be good. Now this fit before, it should fit again, right? Oh. There. 
Now I'll find something to just tap it down with. Okay. Now these will be very easy to break off. That looks pretty good. Okay, here we go for another one. I'd like to get the CA right down into the there, that's a little better. Now this is the second one that we drilled out with the drill press yesterday. I think that went all right. All right, here's the third one. And I forgot to push record when I put it in. And number four. This is the last one on the port side of the shelter deck. Hmm. Come on. I better hurry up, this uh, CA is starting to set up on me here. Well, maybe I should use different tweezers. Well, I sure don't want it to set like that. That's not good. I might end up having to drill this out again. Well, for sure I'm going to have to repaint it. Okay, you're looking right over the the deck here to the starboard side.
Okay, there's only one more on this side to do. Okay, I guess the best place to leave this when we're storing it, this ninth one, is maybe just leave it on this block or maybe put it in a test tube, I don't know. Okay, the, the other ones are right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You probably can't see them. Okay, now Unlike our friend Peter, who used a fly for comparison, okay, that, that's about the that's about the best I can do here. We haven't had very many flies this fall, uh, which is unusual. Last fall I bought a fly zapper because we had so many, and uh, uh, <laughs> this year it's like they know there's a fly zapper in the house and they're not coming in. Uh, they were just lined up to come in last year. Anyway, I'll just see how close I can get here with this. Well, maybe I should put the macro lens on. Ah, oh, what's the difference, you know? Okay, you get the idea, right? Let's put this in a safe place. I'll just, I'll just set it right here. We're on this bright spot where I'll see it. I, I wouldn't dare drop this on the floor. If I dropped it on the floor, the chances of finding it are uh, almost every piece of dust on the floor is bigger than that. <laughs> One more thing. Remember, you were looking at these through the macro lens. I don't want to be seeing comments that says something like, I saw flashing on those. Actually, I don't care. If you want to comment that, that's fine. Yes, I better put my glasses on so I can see it. Okay, and it, it is in there way down at the bottom. It's got a little piece of uh, masking tape gum on it I guess and it's kind of stuck in there. But it's down there. We'll get it out when the time comes. Okay, as I've said before, at least I think I did, step 12 is done. All there was was these uh, mounts for the boats, or brackets for the boats, or cradles for the boats. I don't know what you want to call them. Um, anyway, we normally we'd flip ahead to 13, but we have to go back and finish 11. And we can't do 11 until we get this piece glued down onto the uh, the next deck down, or basically you might, might as well say the, the, the hull and the gunnels. So let's see now how those brackets that we put on the day before yesterday are going to hold. A few moments ago I was reading my comments and one of the viewers said that it appeared that 
and I'm, I'm not I'm not saying it word for word for what he said, but it appears that the where I nipped this sprue off here, it looks like it's hanging down. Part of it is hanging down. Now, I, I honestly can say I have not checked that yet. I never thought to check that. But he was wondering if possibly the reason that the deck is not going down properly is because it's being held up. Now, um, I'm going to be seeing this for the first time. I never thought to check that. Is it hanging down a little bit? Well, yeah, it kind of is. Um, I don't know if that was the problem. You know what, I was going to cut that off right now, but in a, I'm going to be bringing the model ship over, uh, or the, the hull over, and we'll put it down and see, was that the problem? Uh, and uh, if it was, well, uh, I, I'll, I'll be cutting it off anyway. But, uh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Now, we won't know unless we try it, right? Now, I like to do everything for real. It's not like I, I say I've never seen it before and uh, you're seeing it with me for the first time, but I actually know what's gonna, what the result is going to be. I like to do everything sort of live on camera. So uh, let me just uh, readjust everything here and get the hull back on our model table. Okay, I think I've got everything adjusted and I've got it focused so that right here is probably about the sharpest place in the whole field of view here. Um, now, I'm going to find out two things. Are these pieces right here, they're probably going to come right about here. Are they going to hold the deck up so that it's not going down and that's our problem? Second thing is, are these pieces that we put on going to break off when I, when I pry the edges over the sides. Anyway, let's just let's just do it. Let's stop talking. I have a tendency to talk away too much here. Here we go. something is holding it up here and it's not these there we go okay now when we pull this down what is happening here I'll, I'll move in and on this area right here okay what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna push this down so that the sides are touching the gunnels the way I want it to glue. Okay, now, no, I, I would. <clears throat> I think we can, we can safely say that these are not holding it up. Uh, what what is holding it up right now? It it is the bottom of this deck. Or in other words, the, uh, <laughs> the, I forgot the word I'm supposed to use, the ceiling of this part underneath there is touching. Let me take this off here very carefully here. Okay. Okay. This, this part right here is riding on these ridges that are raised. Okay. Um. I don't know why they did that, but anyway, they did. Anyway, it's not going to be a problem, but but I will take the nippers and, and clean this off. So thanks to that viewer for noticing that, because I didn't know for sure either until just right now. Now I'm always surprised that you viewers are noticing things that I should have noticed weeks ago. I'd been handling that little part, you know, probably a... Well, I was going to say a thousand times, <laughs> but probably not that many times. But enough that I should have noticed that parts of that sprue were hanging down. And, <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it. Constructive criticism like this, I like. Keep it coming. Now, 
person has to be very, very gentle because these little rings that we put on yesterday, something like this could possibly brush, brush them right off if I wasn't careful. Uh, so anyway, now I think we'll turn the ship around because the, uh, the one that is the most problematic is, is this one right here. And uh, I want to have it facing us. So, uh, yeah, let's turn it around here. Now i got to keep reminding myself of this. I do not want to be putting pressure where it's going to break something off. So let's be mindful here, Ron. One of the viewers was mentioning that these three posts here were bent in. So I, I don't know if this piece is bent in because these posts are pulling it in, or is these are these posts bent in because this piece is pulling the post in. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to take a whole lot of force to hold this down here. Um, my thinking on this right now is... Uh, is maybe do one side at a time. I'm just wondering if maybe we could just lay it, lay the model on its side, and uh, it's, you know, in in its cradle, it won't fall out. So I'm very careful. I should be able to just roll it over on its side, and then the side will become the top. And then what I can do is, well, maybe that's not a good idea either. I was going to say, take and run a, a bead of. CA thin all the way along here and and let it let it harden but these 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 pieces that we put in are holding this in exactly the right place yeah so so this this has worked out good just have to make sure that it's it's back as far as it'll go and it is Yep. Yeah. Oh, neighbor walked by and waved to me. <laughs> okay. Another unrehearsed moment. Okay, yeah, I, I'm very happy with this. Okay, now we have done this before. So we know it'll work. Move this over as far as it will go. To these things and we should be able to just carefully roll it over on its side here and it shouldn't fall out all right now let's uh, let's adhere this side first Let's sort of do a dry run here. Okay, we want it to adhere to this this here and here, and it would be nice if it could also adhere all the way along the gunnel. And I was thinking that these clamps just might work for that. Don't want to get too tight now. Just, just to hold it up. I'm, I'm just doing a dry run here. I wonder, would it be better to put it on here or on here? I think maybe, I think maybe we just have it right on the, on the piece that it's holding in on. Now is, now is that pulling this up? Maybe I got it too tight. Yeah, I do believe this is going to work. Do we need another one over here? I don't think so. I didn't realize that the 
handles of the uh, clamps were blocking your view here as to what's going on until I looked up into my monitor. But, uh, yeah, let's give that a try. Now, do we use CA glue or extra thin? What I did here was I ran a bead of CA all along the top of the gunnel and a little extra heavy where those brackets were and I squeezed it together just enough so that I could see that the CA was being squeezed out between the gunnel and, and this piece right here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I forgot to push record when I did it, but when we do the other side maybe uh, <laughs> I'll remember to push record. Now while we're waiting for this CA to cure, the mailman came this morning, about an hour ago now. Um, I heard him come, I didn't actually see him come. I got a very thick padded envelope here and it came all the way from looks like Southampton. Isn't the Southampton uh, the last port that the Titanic stopped in to pick up passengers uh, before it started across the Atlantic uh, for its fatal run? I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyway, let's see what we got here. This is from one of the viewers. I think you probably picked up on that already. Okay. He uh, sent me a note saying, be careful you don't poke yourself. And it says, dear Ron, saw this and thought of you. Kind regards, Mr. T. I'll readjust the camera later and we'll zoom in on it. I, I really don't know what it is. Pokey tool. Okay. Rubber tip protector, stainless steel. A pokey tool, for goodness sakes. Okay, I'll move the camera in. Ideal for precise, fine detail craft work. Well, I need all the help I can get, don't I? Crafter's Companion. Made in China. Made in China, then shipped to the UK, then shipped to Canada. I'm assuming that the end is supposed to come off of one of these. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, that, that might actually work for applying a minute amount of CA glue. Let's see, did it say it was stainless steel? It wouldn't, it wouldn't really matter. Um, yeah, a person could probably use that. It's sure, it is very, very sharp. No, is it, is it sharp on both ends? No, the other end is supposed to be left on. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. T. Yeah. All the way from the UK. Now I'm pretty sure that most of the viewers know how I'm always poking at things. In fact, I joke about having compulsive poking disorder. <laughs> well, now I've got an official poking tool. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. T. Now, we're almost out of time here. Um, this CA glue that we put on, probably about an hour ago, ago now, it should be dry. And uh, we don't have a whole lot of time to do the other side. 
least not in today's episode, but I am very con convinced that this is going to hold. All right. It looks good to me. Now I could probably pry it apart, but on the other hand, maybe it, these things would break off first. I think it's going to be good. Okay, we'll flip this thing over in tomorrow's episode and uh, do the other side. And I'll try and do a better job of showing you... Oh, here was my... Uh, yeah, I'll do a better job of showing you when I apply the uh, CA glue. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.